Is the Old Testament still important for New Testament believers? Of course it is. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, we read that all Scripture is inspired by God and useful for teaching. Now, at the time that was written, of course, they had the Old Testament. That's what they were able to access the most. Paul's letters and those of Peter, James, and John, they were still being collected, and they weren't yet referred to as Scripture by most people. So here, Paul is referring to the Old Testament and saying that all Scripture is inspired and useful. So then how should we regard the Old Testament? If it's useful for teaching, how should we teach about it? Well, remember that there's an old covenant and a new covenant. And today we live under the new covenant of God's grace. Therefore, we're looking back on the old and putting it in context. We're dead to the law. We're not under the law. Christ is the end of the law for all those who believe. Still, though, there's an incredible amount of wisdom to glean from the Old Testament. After all, we learn in Genesis, for example, that, uh, well, God created the world. We learn how we got here, how we rebelled against God and the spiritual death that was caused as a result, and then how God pursued humanity and ultimately saved us through Jesus Christ. So we learn a lot from the Old Testament, including as we read the Psalms, we hear from a man after God's own heart, David. We look at his passion for the Lord. We read the writings of Solomon and his view on wisdom. We quickly learn how God's view of wisdom is very different from our view of earthly wisdom. We glean so much from the Old Testament. So everything from Genesis to Revelation is the inspired word of God. But there is a surprise ending in the gospel, right? I mean, would you ever watch an Alfred Hitchcock film and then turn it off with 30 minutes left? Of course not. There's a surprise ending that would help you go back and reinterpret everything that came before. Likewise, there's a surprise ending in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. And this causes us to understand the Old Testament law in a brand new way. We read of the dietary restrictions, and yet we're free to eat whatever we'd like. We read of the wardrobe restrictions, and yet we can wear whatever we'd like, and we don't have to worry about those Old Testament regulations. Also, we look at the sacrificial system in the Old Testament. And in the Old Testament, they were offering sacrifices again and again, repeatedly, endlessly. But today, we have the once-for-all sacrifice. In the Old Testament, of course, the Holy Spirit was coming upon people for divine acts of service. But in the New Testament, He's sealed within us forever. So we study the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but at the same time, we recognize who we are as New Testament believers living on this side of the cross under God's grace in a new covenant era. And that perspective makes all the difference.